I've been buying shit from the third world, like every other cunt in the West, for the last 20 something years. Since my birth, my parents have been buying me shit from the third world. And there's this vague understanding that the people over there, there's just tons of fucking cunts who need a job and they'll work for a couple bucks a day. But what do I really know about those people? Not much. I know the broad strokes, a couple bullet points that China used to have a thriving agricultural industry, and then that all died uh, because people could move to the cities and work in these factories. Uh, That's one thing I kind of fucking know. But even then, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. The second is that... um. Yeah, they're just, um, it's like modern indentured servitude, fucking slavery, essentially. And uh, poor working conditions, if you don't like it, fuck you, we'll get someone else. And, um, but it's better, it's better than the fucking risk of trying to grow turnips, uh, somewhere. And, uh, yeah, the working conditions suck, they got the nets. That's what I know, or I think I know, right? <laughs> but I don't fucking know. It, like, is it a is it a case of I just don't give a fuck? Even though every fucking thing in my house is from China, essentially. But I've never really bothered into look into I've never looked into like how do they make it? How does it get packaged up how does it get transported here what's the actual industry is that because china doesn't want me to know or i've just never been bothered to look on youtube about what the actual conditions are like who fucking knows but this weekend just gone i was in uh destin florida with the fam and some friends and uh one of my favorite things to do When blowing through a new place is to uh, blow a couple guys. And then after I've done blowing some random strangers, I like to go to a thrift shop to cleanse the palate and look for some goodies, some new apparel. And I was uh, standing with my buddy and we were just uh, absentmindedly looking through the men's shirts. And I came across this kind of like... uh, silky type shirt where it was like a male l or xl shirt and on the front it just had a fucking perfect a picture like a photo of perfect pecs and abs so like a like a fucking model you'd see on on the front of like a erotic romance novel and i said to my bro i was like The person that made this in China, what the fuck are they thinking about us who are buying this type of shit? (laughs) Like something about that shirt just triggered something in me that I'd never really put it together that everything that I fucking use, someone has created it. Uh, And at times they're probably passing judgment. Do they understand that this type of thing is probably just some dumb fucking Chris Kringle secret Santa type of shit where, you know, you have a quick laugh. You maybe wear it when you're getting pissed up over Christmas dinner and then you take it down to the goodwill the next day because you're never going to be seen in public wearing it. Do they understand that context? Probably not. They probably think we're fucking degenerate sick fucks roaming the street. And uh, <laughs> so I said this to my buddy and then he raised me. He was like, ha ha, I see you, good sire. How about this one? He was like, what about the sex dolls? And he, and, and I was like, oh, that's fucking, that's true. I was like, what are they thinking? And he was like, yeah, especially when the sex dolls look like them as well. <laughs> it's like a fucking Black Mirror episode. Where they're like, oh my god, these sick fucks over there are just having these 
these cum receptacles that look like me. So anyway, it brings into question, and this is something I've been wondering recently about on TikTok. And it's amazing that I'm seeing this on TikTok. I'm not on TikTok. I'm seeing the the greatest hits on Instagram or YouTube shorts because I'm a millennial. I'm beginning to become an old man. I'm not on the Zoomer thing. I'm getting the trickle down greatest hits on, on the millennial platforms of the Zoomer newfangled fancy thing. So anyway, on the Chinese propaganda machine, TikTok, they've got some fucking insane vision of modern Chinese cities, which look essentially just like Japan, the modernization, the cleanliness, the wealth, and the kind of like seemingly incredibly functional high-tech society that exists over there. So you take it with a grain of salt because you're like, yeah, this is fucking TikTok. They want me to believe this. This is the pill they want me to swallow. But on the same, it it just, the scope of this uh, shit looks insane. I guess it could all be one big movie set where all the slaves are behind the fucking cool newfangled shit. But then, yeah, you see people traveling around modern cities in China and it looks pretty fucking good a lot of the time. So we're we're led to believe that they're degenerates and fucking, you know, they'll eat every part of an animal and you see fucking people giving birth in, in the side of the street and shitting on the street and like, oh, aren't they fucking scumbags? And then you hear accounts from Chinese people that they they're getting the the same type of feedback about us. My buddy raised a good point. He was saying that he's speaking to some Chinese girl on his travels and and she was saying yeah we hear that you just um every time there's a stray animal in the street you just uh you take it away and you kill it and he was like yeah that's actually true that's what we do with the pound right like we look at all their mangy fucking dogs and their um feral cats or whatever the fuck is roaming the street and we think oh these fucking dirty animals these flea ridden animals living amongst the humans and then, you know, getting into the fucking whole COVID shit. Someone fucked a monkey and then coughed on a pangolin. And that's why we've all got the fucking spicy cough. We look at them as uh, disgusting, depraved because they allow that to happen. The feralness of animals. But isn't that kind of giving animals a chance? It's like, well, yeah, we're not going to, exterminate you off to the side to keep the 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 image of a you know a perfectly sanguine and beautiful society we we do that off to the side so anyway there's different ways you want to look at it i don't know i don't truth lies somewhere in the middle obviously so yeah if you're this if you're this chinese poor fucking wagey who's in this factory which i assume sucks because that's the propaganda that I've been told and I have never bothered to look into, even though every fucking product inside my house is made from China. They're perhaps thinking about the degeneracy of the West um, and being like, oh, fuck. These people are fucking scumbags. I hate this dependent relationship that our economy has on these consumers who will just buy fucking anything and everything and, our job is to make it for them, no matter what, how dehumanizing the product or uh, the working conditions are. Are they thinking that? Or are they thinking like, oh, cool. This is where our, our society is going to be in 20 years. We're going to be into this type of shit. Because isn't that how it works? That like broad strokes that they're like the worker bees, but we're like the creative ones. We're like sitting around fucking stroking our chins coming up with new fucking ideas for products that uh essentially lead nowhere but it's more just the idea generation the concept generation that's the main thing and they can't do that we have the creativity essentially so they like oh cool sex dolls we're not there yet but give us 20 years we'll be we'll be there and maybe some of them are just like damn like isn't isn't the fucking the existence of the the sex doll that looks identical identical to the third world 
uh, slave wagey, just the perfect fucking advertisement for passport bros. <laughs> like, that no matter how many fucking hit pieces The Guardian or whatever kind of uh, neoliberal rag out there wants to wants to put out there to to say how it's shameful for lonely Western men to want to go and fucking couple up with some poor woman somewhere in the third world. If this shit's flying off the shelf, they got to be like, you know what? I could do the job with this sex doll. And uh, maybe that would, that would give me a fucking, uh, a 401k and I could get around town in a Toyota Camry. That's better than packaging up this shit. I could cook them a fucking dinner every so often. Like, am I crazy to think some of them are like, damn it. I, this, this person wants to get like a fucking plastic version of me. Why, why don't I just try and find a way to get me in front of this fucking pervert degenerate, but so I can get some fucking go to the Kroger twice a week and order shit off Instacart. Bit of a weird one this week or to kick off this week. I hope you dug it. Uh, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. Hate mail. Um, love bomb me. Do whatever you need to. Thanks for listening. Peace.